Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to our E3 coverage for 2021. Uh, I'm Ethan, joined with the boys, Hunter and Kyle, as always. Um, just us three here to watch along to the Xbox Bethesda conference. It's going to be a riot. Starfield's already leaked and we're loving it. Let's go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. We're all excited. Hopefully this one gets uploaded because I sat by myself doing the Summer Game Fest. And that's never getting uploaded unless if we hit 100 subs this week, I'll upload it. <laughs> Trade off. 100 subs Trade on YouTube. Off. Yeah. The video is getting deleted by getting deleted from his hard drive by the end of the week. Yeah. Because it was so boring. Hopefully this is better. I'm looking forward to it. But no. Hopefully no one else joins us. No, if someone else joins, they're just going to have to be a fucking void. Like someone in the void. Because I don't have a four person setup right now. So. Way to go, Ethan. Thank you. But I have got it set up yeah. in case Hunter has to run away. Because he's seen too much Xbox. Um, true. I'll die of exposure. Ex exposure. Yeah. Exposure. The tenth time they Good say night, game everybody. pass, Hunt is just done. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Wasn't that one of my bets that they would say it like a silly number of times? Yo guys, it's rated Peggy eighteen. Big boys only, guys. Big boys only. Big boys. Oh, I, I can't be here then. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, Kyle. <laughs> I don't remember what my predictions for the Xbox conference were. It'd be funny. I should probably have them up, shouldn't I? So I don't I remember yes. my predictions for anything anymore. Same. It was all but a faint blur in my memory. So I just blacked just... out during the entire episode. Yeah, Xbox, Forza Horizon, Halo Infinite Multiplayer, Gears 6, Psychonauts 2. Oh yeah, I'm literally sitting here waiting for the Persona Xbox announcement. That's what we're sitting here for. Let's go, guys. P3. Ugh. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it in a weird way, because I just want Xbox to have games, you know? A man can dream. 20 years. Oh god, it's Todd! Xbox has been with us. And like you, this is a moment Are I they starting forward. with Bethesda? Games, crossing my fingers for my favorites to return, hoping for a few surprises. Is that too Most loud? of all, though, I love seeing everyone around the world come together and celebrate I don't like the fact that they started with Todd. And I think, you know, That's... The past year, <laughs> I've just seen more. that Starfield Thank got you. leaked, so we're going to move it to today. the start of the Thank show. Like that. And one another. Start field. Xbox is turning 20. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the friendships we've had that whole time. At Bethesda, we believe video games do one thing better than anything. <laughs> the real Starfield is the friends we've made along the way. <laughs> There's real magic when you step into a new world. And can make it your it's own. funny because in the leaked trail of the Starfield, it says like 25 years in the making or something. And I was like, now, wow, they really take their time. <laughs> in over 25 years, Been working on this since the PS1. <laughs> that's how they can get such an exact release date. Oh, they are actually starting with Starfield. About hope, our shared humanity, and answering our greatest mystery. It's a game we've dreamt of playing. And it wasn't until now that we have the hardware. The if they're shared the humanity, does that mean we're not going to befriend aliens? To make that dream a reality. No clue. We're excited to finally share our first in-game teaser and something to look forward to. Yeah, it's November 11th, 2022. Can't wait, guys. Can't wait. Happy Veterans Day. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go to space. From the award-winning creators of Skyrim and Fallout 4, that's all they've made in the past decade. That really feels like it. It's because that is all they've made. They made 76 oh as well, but they genuinely have only made Nobody Skyrim. Nobody wants to remember that, though. I saw the Internet Historian video. I know all about that game. I can't believe, like, in five years, they released Fallout 3, Skyrim, Fallout New Vegas by, obviously, um... Obviously Obsidian. by a different team, Obsidian, but... The wonder is... Not that the field of stars is so vast. Like in six or so years, they did like no Skyrim, difference. Fallout 3, and Fallout 4, and helped with now. Fallout New Vegas. Of our family. And then in the past six years, they half are 76, and that's it. They've done fuck all. <laughs> they made Skyrim a lot. Boy, it's a 
should probably mention when I watched this trailer earlier when it leaked, it's not doing anything for me and I was excited for Starfield. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's not doing anything. They ported Skyrim to a refrigerator. Yeah, they did, Kane. Yeah, they did. To discover what's out there. It just isn't doing anything for me, because it just... Look. <laughs> 11, 11, 22. <laughs> I, I think it'd be fucking hilarious if they've given the date that <laughs> quick, like that early on, and it gets delayed. I will laugh. Like, it genuinely. will be... It probably will get delayed is the best part. There you go. Xbox Series X and S. Windows 10. Wait, it's not coming to Xbox One? Oh, there you go. Oh, Starfield. No, they're, they're Xbox ready to exclusive. Watch the ponies cry, guys. There we go. The ponies. All, yeah, all the, all, the, all the Sony fans are crying. I'll just buy an Xbox. It's truly really tragic it's that I won't be able to play it. <laughs> it's on PC. In the world. If you're an actual, like, Bethesda I mean, fan, if you're like, an actual care. Elder Scrolls Bethesda <laughs> fan, you'll, you'll play it on PC. Yeah. And yet, it's exclusive. Welcome to the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase. I mean, I'll just buy a fridge. So I don't care. I don't care. I'll buy a fridge. Celebrating games. Because although it's been an incredibly tough year, I am grateful that games have been such an important source of joy and connection. We are committed to forging the next era of gaming. That committed, Conjuring guys. Conjuring worlds never before possible. Unlocking play across all devices and delivering the power of games to everyone. And now, we get to share that quest with Bethesda. Not just as partners, but as one team. United in I like that they the just put a car in there. <laughs> everywhere. Xbox Among the list yeah. of all of the iconic Xbox, Xbox yeah. characters. Car is the most iconic yeah. Xbox the character. Car is pretty iconic. Right next to Master Chief. And of course, every single console title you'll see today is optimized for Xbox Series oh, X I thought, and S. I thought they were going to say it's on Game Pass Day 1, yeah. No, exclusive, because I know Battlefield's here, so. Studios on Earth. Oh. Next. Oh, it's sorry, spoilers for a boring two riveting. minutes. The latest entry in the haunting and evocative franchise created by Jesus You don't have Ratchet and Clank. Stalker 2. Um, Coming first to Xbox Series console. Why, why is the stage shaped TV. like a guitar pick? This I don't <laughs> know. It's weird. Yeah, guitar <laughs> Hero Xbox exclusive. What a Let's system a seller. I'll buy it. Next year. I mean, if it was 2008, maybe. Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl or whatever, I will not fucking buy. I'd give a shit about. I'm waiting for this floor to turn into a Smash Ultimate character reveal. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine if Todd Howard was the Smash Bros. character. Oh, man. I'd be okay with it. Yeah, when Doom guy gets passed over, passed over for snake oil salesman. Hell yeah. <laughs> Feels bad. What language is that? I assume that it's Russian. Because it's video games, so it's always Russian. <laughs> yeah. Or Chernobyl. Isn't that in, like, Ukraine? Oh, it could be Ukraine, yeah. I think it's in Ukraine. Or in Ukraine, yeah. Ukrainian. My my geography is terrible. We know this. My geography is absolutely terrible. It's another shooter. I'm gonna give Microsoft a point for every non-shooter they show today. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. a city in Ukraine. Good job, Hunter. Well done, Hunter. <laughs> I know things. What is that like face hugger look? At? That was like a fat turkey face hugger, like. Fat turkey face hugger. I think the whole thing with Stalker is that there's like a mildly supernatural element to it. I don't remember what the original one was like, but I'm almost. I feel like there's been more than one, so it's weird. This one is called Two. <laughs> but is this a horror game? I don't know. <clears throat> there seems to be a lot of gun shooting for it to be a horror game. Or is it just like Control where they're going for a creepy vibe, but it's not like full horror? Uh, that might be closer to what they're doing. It's 
definitely Eastern European. Definitely. Good job, Ethan. Thank you. Language expert. Yeah, I love it when I love it when people stop playing creepy music in abandoned places, dude. That's my favorite. Oh man, this is a tune. I dig it. That's the man of culture. <laughs> Twitter has ruined my perception of the word culture. I can't like whenever I see that word now, I just laugh. I'm just like that word's ruined. If these people around this campfire don't die at the end of this trailer, I'm gonna be annoyed. They can't die. These are the main characters. Yeah. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, I take it back. The thing just ran at me. Yeah, didn't jump out. Oh, it's invisible though. That's pretty cool. Oh shit. Okay, okay, that got me a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, it's got I'm tentacles. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> he feels like I take it back. I take you it are back. scary. You got, you got a bit of a jump. It's not scary, scary, but you got you got a jump out of me. I was like, fair enough. Friendship in the zone? It's the anti-friend zone. Yeah. That's good. Он этого не заслужил, а пулю заслужил. Жаль, что ты так с ним поступил. This is a great trailer, dude. Считаешь, я не думал, как обойтись без его смерти? Она не могла быть свободна, пока он жил. Зато теперь, посмотри на неё. Slow start. I'm glad they got the Starfield thing out of the way, so we didn't have to pretend like we didn't know what we were going to see from Starfield. That's the one thing I'm grateful. Also, who's this B-Tech Leon looking fucker, dude? Like, genuinely, what is this? I don't know. Yo, electric gun. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. I feel like if they quit intercutting back to the people, they'd be able to set a better tone, especially since it's been narrated this whole time anyway. I think it doesn't help that because it's all in Ukrainian, it kind of kills the tone anyway, in a weird way. And not in like a Kingdom Hearts Japanese trailer weird way. I mean, just like. And they didn't die. Uh, I told you they wouldn't. 28th of April 2022, guys. Write it down. Fantasy League next year. I'm sure that'll be the hot game. Oh, yeah. Hot games only. Oh, is this the multiplayer? Is there like a co-op? Or is this Back for Blood? This is Back for Blood, right? This is Back for Blood. Yeah. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Unfortunately, though, it's still a shooter, so we're going to have to not give them another point. <laughs> Even though this one's a cool one. Yeah. You know, I never played Left 4 Dead 2. I owned it for years. I, n I never played them, yeah. I never had it, but I played it at a friend's place a couple of times. Like, I, pl I played Portal, I played TF2, I played a little bit of Half-Life. This is the one, like, kind of... <clears throat> Valve published game from that time that I just did not play. Half-Life's the one I didn't play. I mean, I have only very briefly played... Um, I've only briefly played it. I didn't play much. I got bored. God, I love Mondays. I still think it's crazy that... I like Val that they synced up the gunshots there to the beat of the music. Mm -hmm. Was, they, they, definitely have, nice. they, they, they definitely have someone from Call of Duty working on them, because that's like the Call of Duty staple. That's the one thing that they do in every fucking trailer, so I'm like, yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, they do it all the time, dude. Like, they do it all I, the time. I, I just tune out when I realize that Call of Duty is happening. <laughs> I mean, most of the time I do too. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. This was, what I was going to say was, I'm still shocked. October 12th, nice. Game Pass? Play it day one with Game Pass. That's okay, that's pretty cool.
Yay, Game Pass. Yay, Game Pass. Oh, eight Xbox Game Studios presents. God, I hope it's Banjo. <laughs> this isn't something. Banjo. No, that's a record. <laughs> and this is copyrighted music. Oh, shit. I should mute. Mute in. <laughs> Avalanche. Hang on. Isn't is, is, Avalanche. is Avalanche? Avalanche. Didn't they make they made What did Avalanche make? You know, I'm gonna look it up. Is that a just cause? Yeah, it is. Have they acquired Avalanche? There was a rumor if, a couple of days ago of Xbox Game Studios is rumored to be acquiring IO Interactive, Crytek, and Avalanche. This is extremely sus wow. now that an Avalanche. Open world. Co-op, open world. Oh, I see a gun. They're not getting a point for this one. They may just cause <laughs> Mad Max. Ah, oh, Mad Max was the other one. Could I, be a bit uh... mad, to be honest. Well, not really. What's this? Contraband. Is Contraband. that the name of the game? Is that it? Cool. Yeah, Play it day one Exciting. with Xbox Game Pass, dude. The music's you know, from, over, Ethan. From that trailer, I'm in. Oh. Day one. Day one. You know, in like 2026. Oh, Sea of Thieves. Oh, baby. I've always wanted to play this because I... From someone out looking out, I don't the understand why people like it. Cool. Yeah. Because when I... The only gameplay I saw of this game was at launch, and it was kind of content light, and it looked a bit shit. But apparently now people love this game, and I'm like, okay. A new danger is coming on the tides. I don't get it. The one who might stop this ruin, trapped for all forever in the sea of the dark. I mean, if it was just a pirate game where my entertainment wasn't predicated on having people to play with, I might enjoy it. Yeah. Oh my god, it is! It's Pirates of the Caribbean! Oh, we have company. That's cool. I was genuinely gonna say, this feels like Pirates of the Caribbean. And then, with like the narration and yeah. stuff, yeah. Disney, damn. Because of the treasure Jack go. stole, a darkness followed him here. And if it's not stopped, this world will sink into shadow. This sea holds many seas. Disney just loves giving Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> to fucking everyone, don't they? They do. Namora, you can have him twice. Sea of Thieves, sure. That's 100% the that's 100% the Jack voice actor that voiced Jack in Kingdom Hearts 3. That is 100% the same fucking actor. Yeah. <laughs> and it is genuinely Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> well, I believe that now is the perfect time for you. <laughs> Davy Jones looks goofy. <laughs> yeah, man. It's got it's kind of got like a Disney Infinity vibe to it, you know, where the characters look a bit. Mm, yeah. Goofy. I was thinking that too. This is cool, though. Yeah, it's good for them. Wonder if this is a free expansion or if you have to pay for it. I don't suppose, by chance, there's a second one of those. <laughs> the Sea of Thieves, eh? Bring me that horizon. Sea of Thieves, a pirate's life. That's... An original story? Okay, I'll believe a it. An epic original story? In nine days. Thank free. you, Ethan. Sorry, an epic. And coming free. Good for them, I guess. Available now. The entire mainline Yakuza saga. Nice. Boy. Oh, is it included hey, Like it a Dragon then? Nice. Was Like <laughs> a Dragon on Game Pass already? I don't know. 
I do need to play Yakuza Zero still. Ah yes, I love it for using a fucking telephone as a weapon. <laughs> this is very wacky for someone who doesn't know anything about Yakuza. <laughs> it gets weirder. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. You know that scene there with the knives being thrown off of me? I saw someone meme that the other day where the guy threw the knives and then it was the Gordon Ramsay Kitchen Nightmares intro of the <laughs> knives going at the wall and I just cried all that. Oh, that's amazing. Like, that was funny. Wait, what? Oh, battle. This is Battlefield. Uh oh. Good, a shooter. Oh, boy. I didn't, it's, oh, write it down, guys. They haven't shown a single non-shooter yet. They still haven't yeah, shown a non-shooter. Yeah, I was going to say, Yakuza. Well, Yakuza. Oh, Yakuza, I guess. New. Yeah, I guess we'll give them Well, a Yakuza what, what was new? just on Game Pass, it's though. On it's Game not Pass. new. Yeah, it's the, the Sea of Thieves thing is new for the game. Yeah, but it's a shooter. Pass. You shoot guns. Sea of Thieves? Yeah, it's first person. Uh, you, shoot mul yeah, you, shoot, you shoot muskets and shit. Um, really? Yeah, you've got sword combat as well, but you do shoot muskets and stuff like that. You can have guns in that game. Okay. We can, I mean, we could send it to the board of directors if you want to fucking fight for that not being a shooter. <laughs> we'll no, I don't. I don't care that much. I just I didn't. Like, care. why? Why? Why would I expect the pirate game to have like an incredible amount of gunplay? They use the flintlocks and junk, like, every once in a while. Yeah, and I'm sure most of it is, like, sword shit, but... I'm looking for something here, Hunter, that isn't a first-person perspective where you can use guns. That's all I'm asking. And Yakuza's the only thing that's delivered so far. And that's an old game. Yeah. That was a weird menu. Kind of looks like the Last of Us menu. I have not been watching this trailer. They stole that from Black Ops. Black Ops Four had a fucking scene in the trail in the trailer where they took a fucking quad bike and ch and drove it into a helicopter. Dude. Oh man. I mean, it's a cool yo. I do like jumping off buildings with wingsuits though. I will give them that. That's pretty cool. Why is the sky red? Because they're actually on Mars. Have you not noticed everything's on fire, Ethan? True. Extra enter the next year. God, I cannot speak to it. I've never been into Battlefield. Like, yeah, this is, it makes this these trailers make it look action packed, but in reality the maps are so big that I hardly see anyone, and it's just run doing around and dying from a sniper. Yeah. Twenty forty two. Wow. Damn, that's a long time from now. That, that is a long <laughs> time. Do you have a Do you have a specific date? My <laughs> Bethesda. Oh, there it is. October Another exclusive. Annapurna. So, how was your day? Oh, is this going to be 12 minutes? 12 minutes is exclusive to Xbox? Aww. Well, guess I'm going to have to play it on PC or buy a fridge. Feels bad. <laughs> Where's Spider-Man? Oh, it's out soon. Oh, oh nice. Way to go, Hunter. August 19, 2021. On Game Pass. Wow. Can you believe it, guys? Xbox Game Studios. We get it. We get it. Oh, it's Psychonauts. Nice. Finally. We're out of the, the first person shooter block. Finally. 12 minutes goes on a shooter. Yeah. No, I'm saying, yeah. So now we're 12 minutes. Two, two in a row, Hunter, means we're out of it. <laughs> you we're, <think>. free. <laughs> we're free. We're free. I really need to play the first Psychonauts. I own it. I have a, I like own it digitally on PS4. I just haven't played it. I should play it sometime too. I want to play this. It either. looks great. This is the intermission. Because <laughs> <laughs> you 
Because this is still coming to PS4, isn't it? Because it was before it was before the acquisition that they were making it. So. Yeah, probably. some bacon I'm going to ignore that last part <laughs> come on when's it coming out August 25th there we go finally I, dated I feel like we've been waiting for this game for like years at this point like yeah I swear it was kickstarted in like 2015, 2016. It was been. It feels like it's been forever. This is usually the moment when I say hello and welcome to the Bethesda E3 showcase. We love that we can. Share but we sold out, so now we're here. <laughs> Whether you've known Bethesda for 35 years or are just getting to know us, we couldn't be happier to bring you the latest on your favorite games. We started this showcase with my good friend Todd Howard, who gave you a first look at Starfield. Along with Bethesda Game Studios, all of our teams are continuing to work on the project Can't that has been in development since well before we joined the Xbox family. So rest assured, the games you've been expecting and hoping for oh, are I see still the in the works. And today, in the we're bringing over there. 10 more titles to Game Pass for a total of 30 Bethesda games. That's sick. That dude. includes several id Software games, like the award-winning Doom Eternal. If you're looking for another reason to play it, Doom Maternal will be optimized for Xbox Series X and S on June 29th. Powered by cool. id Tech, this next-gen upgrade will be free for everyone who owns Doom Maternal. And on Series X, it will offer improved visuals at 60 FPS with ray tracing. I'm genuinely just tempted to... Ray tracing. Yeah, I am genuinely just tempted when I eventually buy an Xbox Series X to just binge the Bethesda shit. Just because it's like, I have hardly... Series X version, come on! Share your favorite Skyrim. Yeah, Skyrim. Next, next gen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Or explore an ever changing post apocalyptic wasteland. Oh, fuck. Everything you I honestly thought we were going to get a third fucking console generation of another Skyrim port. Damn it. Unique characters, places no, to man. discover. You'll find it all. I'm surprised here. they never tried to port it backwards just for kicks. On PS2. Thanks to an incredibly welcoming and collaborative community. Here's a look at what's coming next in Fallout 76. Oh! Oh! I'm getting a point. Actually, no lie, I'd be tempted to try out like a demake of Skyrim, like on SNES. Fallout 76 gets another that update. Sounds like it could be cool. I'm getting a point. Let's go. Wow, Ethan. Let's go. Good Meanwhile, job, another shooter. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. It really was just a break. <laughs> I'm blaming Kane for that one. That's Kane's fault. He willed this into existence. Yo, it's the Iron Patriot. Boom. Are you looking for this? <laughs> I set this plan in motion, and I am the only one who can stop it. Do you think they'll ever make another Fallout game? Or do you think they're just gonna keep updating this shit for like 17 years? <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, neither do I. Yeah. But... Like, if I really want to go and play a Fallout game, there's like, I've got like a couple of them because I've never played them, so. I just realized that music was probably copyrighted. Oh well, don't copyright strikers. You won't get anything from us. What the hell was that? Oh. Expedition Squad Delta, report over. Squad Delta, what's going on out there? This is still Fallout, right? Yeah, it's still Fallout. Yeah. For a second, I just thought they were going to do something cool and move straight into, like, another game. Bat 
battle royale. New Vegas. Pittsburgh. Oh, the new map. Twenty twenty two. The Wasteland isn't the only Expedition open world playground with an amazing community. Excellent. The Elder Scrolls Online from Zenimax Online Studio has now surpassed eighteen million players and shows no signs of slowing down. I think down. I had a prediction right now, for that one. Yeah, well, well done, man. Well done, man. Hang on. I'll have they announced it though. We've got a lot more to come in ESO, including the conclusion to this epic story later this fall with ESO Deadlands. And with the release of ESO Console Enhanced this Tuesday, the game will deliver a true native experience optimized for the Series X and S. Okay, well done, Hunter. You get a point. They're showing it. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Way to go, Hunter. Man. I own this. Fun fact. Do you? Yeah. A friend back in the day, like five years ago, was, was like, there we should a voucher buy it. for it hidden in your Skyrim collection? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I own a legitimate fucking copy. Oh, yeah. Um, but my friend was like, come on, it'll be fun. It was used for like 20 quid or whatever. And I was like, eh, you know, I'll give it. I'll give it a chance, right? And we must have played it one night for about two hours and I never played it again. Lovely. It was fine. I just never got into it just because I'm not an MMO guy. I genuinely can't get into them. Yeah. I need someone to bully me into it. Console launch exclusive. Ooh. It's a new world. <gasps> new rules. Oh my god. Nothing is off the table. Winning this battle will take a new breed of fighter. Banjo and Kazooie. What the fuck is this? I want it. This um, looks kind of gang beasty. Yeah, is it gang beasts? It's like an entire like party game thing. I take it back. This is why I'll buy a Series X, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You can headbutt! Okay, I'll buy this thing, dude. You can Where's the pre-order for an Xbox it. Series X, dude? Let me buy this shit. I think the console launch exclusive. It's his microphone right? now, dude. It's, it's his microphone right? now. <laughs> oh, this is genuinely charming. This is genuinely charming. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like, I like this. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Drop kick, yes. <laughs> I want to drop kick people as a fucking pig. Let's go, dude. Let's go. It took me Part forever down. to learn Who's how to do that? that. Who's making that? Uh, not... I don't remember what the name of the gang beast people is, but I would assume it's just them. Hades. Like Hades. Hunter, it's your favorite. Oh, good Not for you, Not coming to PlayStation giant. Park. Let's go, dude. <laughs> nah. I'm going to Twitter because we're finding out if this is coming to PlayStation Day and Day. We're going to Twitter. I hope it does. I'd, it'd be really annoying if my physical super giant collection is like spread out. Yeah, I do agree with. Um, Someone on Twitter here said, why would the fuck would you reveal your new IP with a fucking CGI trailer? And I'm like, yeah, I'm not excited for Starfield in the slightest right now. Which is funny. How am I more, how was I more excited when I, when there was nothing? August 13th, yeah. I assume it's also coming to PlayStation. I imagine so. It Did makes me pay? happy. The fact that it uh, had a box next to it right there makes me happy that I'm not going to have to buy the PlayStation version and then buy the physical version of the PlayStation version. Oh, apparently... Um, that's interesting.
Hades is coming to Xbox Game Pass as well, by the way. That's um, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But no, Jeff Grubb said a while ago that he had heard about a game going to Game Pass that was under a code name, Athens, and he's been trying to work out what it is for ages. And now that he's seeing Hades, he's like, I feel fucking stupid. <laughs> That's amazing. I've been trying to work out what Athens is for a week. Yeah. <laughs> if I would have had that information, I would have been like, ah, yes. Hades hasn't said they haven't. Uh, they haven't said anything. Oh. Hades is coming to Xbox and PlayStation. They've just announced. There you go. Awesome. We're very excited to announce that the Game of the Year winning roguelike, Dungeon Crawler Hades, is coming to Xbox and PlayStation. It will be available on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. There will also be physical editions of the PS4 and PS5 version. Yes. There you go, Hunter. Thanks. You have to collect two fucking copies now. Have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to. You've got to. And by the Xbox one, you got so you can't you gotta have the whole set. I'm I'm not by that's not what I mean. Oh da, 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 don't delay it. What I meant was I want all of my fans. Thank you. We wouldn't be here without all of you. Please don't delay it. Our goal It's all I have left been to bring players together. And for the first That's all time, I have left. To offer our <laughs> He's not wrong. I'm not lying. That whopping, that whopping 12 <laughs> points it's going to give you. Halo I'll take Infinite it. Multiplayer will be free to play and invite more of you than ever before to <laughs> become <laughs> a Spartan hero. I'm excited to be here with Joseph Staten, the creative director of Halo Infinite. From helping craft the original Halo combat. I wonder evolved, what number creative directory is. Four? Halo 3 ODS Five? <laughs> Joseph is a Halo 12. visionary. It is <laughs> this so game's had like six million directors. Halo. Thank you, Bonnie. And hey, everybody. Yeah. For us, uh, and I hope many of you. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. I'm just looking at this Hades thing on uh, The box version also includes a download code for the soundtrack, a 32 page color character compendium booklet, and artwork from the game. Sci fi world. Yeah. And the first this pressing of these versions also feel a unique foil dream. cover. The so there's a special first oh, edition cool. foil we cover. And we can't wait All right. To explore it. So it'll be like shiny or something. That's fun. So technically I have six edition, six more copies to buy because you need the foil and the regular hunter of each of them, Ethan, right? Yeah. I think you misunderstood you shiny. me. I just, I just want all of my super giant games, one apiece, to be in the same place. Are you going to buy the PS4 so version like, or the PS5 the version? Chapter of the chief story, you'll face I don't know yet. Challenge yet. Just like, <laughs> I got the PS4 version. It would probably just boost up it probably has a, It probably has a free upgrade, yeah. Yeah. Wait, is this game play, is this campaign or multi? This is campaign, right? Story mode. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, if that's the map issue, then it's probably a campaign. Does it look better? You have one bullet Does it? I can't tell. <laughs> if it doesn't, you're if in trouble. <laughs> They've literally shown, they've literally picked on purpose a fucking mission in space in the dark, just so people can't tell. Like, they should have just shown the same yeah, level. Like the, they should have just shown the same like the level they got here. Story. I do want to play Halo. It's, like, I've tried playing Halo 1 and it was so boring. I need you to understand. There's not There's much not time. time. Is that Cortana? Probably. Is he still hung up? ASMR, dude, don't like that. What happened? Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? <laughs> My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... Okay, then. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good. Something stopped your deletion. 
We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure? Master Chief really has a big hard on for AI female robot things, doesn't he? Like, that's what I've learned about a a Halo. <laughs> Robots are people too. Hell yeah. Of course, you can't have a Halo game without multiplayer. And on Xbox Series X, you'll be able to enjoy infinite <laughs> It'd be funny if they were like, but we can't and have cancelled it. Per second. No, just Finally, be... I'm very happy to announce oh. that Halo Infinite's first free to play multiplayer season and infinite story driven campaign will launch together this holiday. A new day. We're still, we're still eating, dude. We're still eating. We're still eating, <laughs> still eating for now. This is this holiday. Still no date. It'll be November, right? Halo's always November. I don't know. It's not always November. I know it's not always November. It's, yeah, it that always Pokemon. has a Pokemon. It always has a fluctuating date. This just looks like Halo, though. I like the grapple hook. Hmm, so if they're showing this in the middle, and they already showed Starfield, you think they're What's at the like end? Or Minecraft? I can't wait. I can't wait. Minecraft 2? <laughs> Pog. I think my problem with Halo is, Chest like, two. when they announced Halo Infinite, they were like, they're redefining what Halo is, and now here we are, like three years later, and this is just Halo. Like, it this looks is just exactly Halo. the same. There is nothing yeah. that's changed. This is Halo. <laughs> and I'm just like, as someone who doesn't care about Halo, this isn't gonna sell me on, oh, of course, now. Now I must play Halo. But I'm sure the Halo fans are like, hell yeah, let's go. More Halo. <laughs> It's just if you were to say to me, of course you can't have a multiplayer game about no, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, if you were to tell me this was Halo Five, I'd, I'd be like, mate, okay, sure. How? Sure. Like I don't know how. Like other than the grapple hook, I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference. Like it looks cleanish. Yo, Samurai? Wake up, Samurai? We got a city to burn, dude? Is Keanu Reeves in this game? Yo, the beam sword. Epic campaign. Not just a campaign, guys. Epic campaign. Holiday. <laughs> I'm kind of concerned that they haven't put a date on it. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, I was concerned. just thinking that. I'm kind of concerned. Blizzard? Diablo? Survived. This feels very Diablo esque. Yeah, it's 100%. Yes. Well, it's Blizzard, and this isn't Overwatch or Hearthstone, so it's definitely Diablo. <laughs> that third thing they own. Well, yeah, WoW's not coming to consoles, is it? <laughs> no. Wait, what? This isn't four. Oh, is this two? It's probably, oh, yeah, it's, it's the two, two remake. remake. Oh, I got excited thinking that Bethesda, that um, Blizzard actually had made progress on some video games for a second. I was like, no, oh. no, this is all vicarious <laughs> visions. This is what they died for, huh? Yeah. Show us the cow story. level. Cow level? You think I'm from Lion? There is a cow level. No, there. no. I know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, eight players. We all Let's all get in, guys. Let's oh, all get baby. In for Diablo oh, 2. A three only let me have four. Oh, boy. I always love when games are like, eight player multiplayer i'm like that's very uh, ambitious of you to think i have seven other people that are one my friend and two want to play diablo 2. 
Like very three on an Xbox. Yeah. Well, this is probably gonna be multi-platform. September twenty-third. Yeah, isn't that the same date that Tony Hawk had last year? That's interesting. It was around that ballpark. Yeah. Captured in engine? What is this? I think Tony Hawk was a little earlier because it was like Labor Day when I played it. From all of us. From what we do to him. I don't know. I don't know the studio. A Plague Tale? Oh, that's probably it. But he's my brother. And I would yeah, this is like that lady's voice. Yeah, Brother. yeah, they're the rats. There's the sea of rats. <laughs> oh, baby, I didn't think this game was the kind to get a sequel. <laughs> Let's go. I'm glad you did not have this leak. This was leaked. Was it? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, that's dumb. It was on the same list as Mario Rabbids Sparks of Hope. I'm glad I don't pay and attention Doki to And Doki Doki Literature Club Plus or whatever, the console version. Oh. That made me excited when I heard about that the other day. But it'd be interesting to see how that thing runs on a console, like... Yeah. Oh, that even that's... work on a console? Apparently, that's, how people, that's what people have been asking. Apparently they built, like, an actual, like, desktop engine in the game now, but... Huh. But it's not going to be as cool because it's not going to go and root through your files and. Plague Tale Requiem. That's oh, what a name. That's a terrible name. That's terrible. Also, Tony Hawk came out on September fourth. Okay, so it's not the same release period. Okay. The following footage has been captured at 4K 60 FPS on Xbox Series X with ray tracing enhanced and fucking. No, not this shit again. <laughs> This is the What's sixth this trailer shit? for Far Cry 6, which is, which is the same game as Far Cry 5, which is the same game as Far Cry 4, which is the same game as Far Cry 3. Is Far Cry 3, and then it stops because they didn't happen until 3, much like Persona. <laughs> but this time it has Gus from fucking Breaking Bad. That's literally it. Like, this is... Who is not Voss, so I don't care. Yeah, this is the same thing Ubisoft showed yesterday. Probably. You know, they could genuinely I skipped show over. me. I saw Far Cry. I saw Far Cry Six. I was like, see it. This game. Is it me? Am I blind, or does this game look worse than Far Cry Five? I don't know. I or didn't look it, it, it looks Cry similar. 5. It looks similar. If this is what Xbox Series X gameplay is, this game doesn't look too like graphically. It looks a bit shit. Sorry, I shouldn't say shit. I should say it looks very much like a PS4 game. This is how we do it. This means it's probably copyrighted as well, isn't it? Oh, well. Yeah, it probably is. Probably. Mm. Most of the time, you don't get a copyright strike. Most of the time, you just they mute the fucking VOD and they take the ads. And good luck getting fucking money from us. Ubisoft. True. We are worth nothing. Yeah, the whole Square reaction later will be taken by Square, and I do not give a shit because they're gonna make yeah. zero. Go harass my return review if you want money. <laughs> it's not cute. It's not cool. They're using a cute dog as hostage to make people want to play the game. Genuinely, it's not. Oh, that's not cool. Yeah. It's just a cute little this... puppy. Also, his back two legs don't work, so he's got like a little wheelchair thing and he rolls around in it. And he's called like Aww. Churro or something. Or Chorizo or something. Aww. I'm like, it's not fair. Why well, put it's a cute thing like that in Far I'm just Cry? I'm play Hades where I can pet my giant three headed dog. No. <laughs> oh. Another console launch exclusive. Oh, baby. Indie game? That's my guess, it's an indie Park. game. Well, yeah, I've not heard of Minami Park here. Is this Temtem? No, because Temtem's already on PS5, so it can't be a console. Oh, launch fair play. Slime Rancher? Oh, it's Slime Rancher. Okay. It looked like the same kind of art style. To be fair, I forgot Temtem was on a console until you brought up Temtem, so this person vacuuming up 
Yeah, it's slime rancher. You're a slime rancher. Yeah, this is yeah. This Look, is weird. You farm slimes. I've yeah, I've not played what? it. This seems this seems like a very stupid Ethan game, but uh, I've never had the chance to play it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Slime like, rancher sounds like a side mode in Dragon Quest, and that's all really I know about Dragon Quest. This, <laughs> it's the yeah, little slime, slime rancher too. There's the second one. I haven't played the first one. Damn it. I don't oh, know how, shit, we're missing how lore. The story. <laughs> a new wiggly adventure begins. That was fun. Mm, I love the word wiggly as a descriptive word. That's mm, hot. Give me that. Watch more people me describe my that strange game choice of adjectives. Yeah. Welcome back yeah, to Shredder right. Geddon. Full punch. Yo, ski. It looks pretty. It looks pretty nice, to be fair. Like, yeah, yeah, it does look nice. Get bent steep. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that I was in the clothes? Like I was in, like the clothes pre pre alpha to steep, and I had to sign an NDA for it. Did I ever tell you that? Oh yeah. So I genuinely played it for twenty minutes, and I may have told some people it was shit, and then um, never played it again. <laughs> Shocking. They were like, you can't tell anyone what your opinions are. I'm like, bet. I'm in a party playing it right now, Ubisoft. Bet. <laughs> imagine telling people that weren't reviewers to have an NDA. Like, imagine telling just like random oh, people weird. on the street. Like, that's that's so weird. I didn't even sign up for a review code or anything. It was genuinely just, oh, you want to play the closed alpha? Well, you're technically under an NDA. And I'm like, am I crap? Like, yeah, okay. Shredders? I won't tell anyone. Four riders, five riders. That, lo that, that looks an interesting game. I like. Those kinds of games always look interesting to me, but I know that I won't ever play. Game Pass. I might try it then, if I ever get an Xbox. Oh my god. Honestly, whenever I see Game Pass now, that's like on my list of whenever I am I inevitably buy a fridge. I'll play it for like 20 minutes. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't know, but... <laughs> What's this They've shown a lot of shooters, but this one... <laughs> this one is neat. It's like, it's like Wild. Zemo levels, dude. What the hell is this? <laughs> Got the Baron Zemo club music in the background and everything. Love it. Like Euro pop, but he's like, let's go. That dude just had a ladle. <laughs> I can see this being like, uh, did Arcane do Prey? This is not Arcane. This is not Arcane. This is not Arcane. Don't know who it is, but it's not Arcane. That was the pass, reason though. I needed clarification one. because it looked Yeah, I don't know about that one, Cal. Like I don't know if I'll be playing but... that one. I don't know if I'll be playing Euro Pop Shooter. Um, I'm too busy playing Yo, Cyberpunk. Rancher. Is Cyberpunk back? Let's go, guys. Command and In 2077. <laughs> horror game? Pixel art? Pixel art horror game? That's not a horror game. Look at this. It's got a very interesting art style, though. Yeah. How far are we through the conference? 55 minutes. Like Dude's eyes thirds. were red. Sad cat? Oh no. <laughs> this is 100% this is copyright, isn't it? Oh wow. Yeah, it's a very interesting art style. Oh, oh we That's got pretty him. Good. cool. That's pretty cool.
Was there a launch exclusive business happening at I the don't beginning remember. of this? Replaced, thing? I don't remember. Coming to Game Pass in 2022. I don't remember mm -hmm. if it said console exclusive or not. Play it that done day. Cool. Well, you can play it day one with Xbox Game Pass, guys. Yeah. You're not having, you're not having them say game. Yeah, in case you forgot, guys. Xbox Game Studios presents a game that's coming to Game Pass. Oh, it's that game what, by Obsidian. Oh, it's the bug game. The bug snacks game. Oh, oh. grounded. Grounded, thank you. Is the bitrate on this video just shit for anyone else? Like, <laughs> the trailer quality of this one trailer is just not that great. Did people like this game when it came out? In early access? I have no idea. It gives the people what they've been asking for. Like sitting. No, seriously, a lot of people want to sit. That's like really close to Doom and Gloom. And I almost got excited for half a second. Because that's the Plants vs. Zombies thing. Oh, big spy. Mother. She's so terrifying. <laughs> oh, ew. You should probably turn on arachnophobia mode. Oh, oh that's funny though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like the kill it with fire thing. Yeah. Arachnophobia mode, that's a cool little. Or never. The brood mother was a boss in Dragon Age that was perhaps the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in a video game. <laughs> Oh, and it looks like we added achievements too. Nice. My Yo, guys, you know you can play it on Game Pass. <laughs> Yo, Among Us coming to all platforms June 15th. Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. Oh, 15 play Among Us? Great. I can hardly fill a regular lobby. Yeah. Dude, now there's three of them. Imposters. That's been possible. Among yeah, Us. That's among us. Yo, nice new UI, dude. Yo, Coral. Is Master Chief coming to Among Us, dude, like Ratchet is? I hope so. <laughs> is this the Forza car coming to Among Us? It's an imposter, can't wait. <laughs> Doom Guy? I saw a video of Doom Guy and Among Us as like a little 3D animation oh. that was hilarious. Okay. Eden Chronicle, 100 heroes. Oh, it's weeb shit time, boys. Persona might be coming, guys. Am I right? Let's go. We're starting with the weeb shit. We have Persona. Oh, that, that dude's got a hook sword. That's pretty cool. <laughs> she has a sheep thing on her arm. That's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool sheep. You nice. Oh, that dude has a katana. Oh my god, it's. Yo. It's 2D HD! Like oh, it's 2D baby. HD, dude! It's 2D HD! Well, shit. <laughs> Another one. Time to buy a fridge. Let's go buy fridges, guys. Let's go. Off we go. Or just play it on my PC. Oh, like cringe. a sensible person. Cringe. Nah, just buy a fridge. Yeah, it's not like it's not like. But dude, I can play like... game one on Game Pass. It's not like this is gonna be heavily intensive. Look at heroes <laughs> and oh, what? Another one? Another another one? Let's go, dude. Wait, coming twenty twenty two and twenty twenty three. Okay, Carl, you don't have to buy so for a while. Why did they show so the time to get a fridge? Why did they show the 2023 one first? And then the 2022 <laughs> yeah, one? That was weird. I also I also like how the HD 2D thing on the Xbox has better titles than the ones that Square themselves have pushed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't you disrespect Triangle Strategy? Project triangle Strategy and Octopath Travel. Project Strangle Tragedy. In, in, in 2077. Every game is cyberpunk when you want it to be. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass, guys. Whatever the fuck it was, because I wasn't paying attention. Oh. 
Banjo 3, guys. Shit, it's not. It's Flight Sim. History is all around us. <laughs> very close, Ethan. Very close. No, it's not Flight Sim. Okay. What the fuck is this? Oh. Yeah, was it Xbox Connect? Are we ringing the Connect back? Finally. Finally. Yo, is this flight sim in the past? Can you just fly, fly your Boeing 747 into ancient Egypt? Age of Empires. Oh, Age of Empires. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's why we have Hunter on. You need to tell us what the fuck it actually is. It looks like one of those. I don't know if this is specifically the one. Yeah, they own Age of Empires. That makes sense. Oh, do they? Yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, this is probably an Age of Empires game then. Yes. Jean d'Arc. Jean d'Arc. Wow. Wow. Rise wow. through the ages. Create your legacy. Age of Empires 4. Wow. Well done, Hunter. Well done. I glanced I glanced at the Twitch chat for half a second and someone was like Farmville 2 question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yo, Banjo 3, guys, let's go. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Fuck. By hearing an old, wise sounding voice. You'll get it one day, Ethan. We will see a quiet peaceful setting boy this space. will make our game seem big. it's no man's sky it's space fable now, Spable. break the serenity fable. <laughs> this creature be in the <gasps> is it art 2 is this the game with thingy in it what's his name oh what's this? no for no reason i know that's an xbox exclusive running oh is this i don't know i have no i'm just gonna shut up i have no clue what this is I thought it was the game with Vin Diesel in it, you know, uh, Ark or whatever. Oh, not. yeah. Oh, yeah. That war sound can mean only one thing. We must gaze over an epic shot of a world. And there should be lens flares. Well, they're taking I like the, the sarcastic <laughs> narration. Yeah, they're, taking the, they're taking the piss out of it, so... Their silhouette because the developers haven't finished the design. Or finished the story. <laughs> or finished any gameplay that's actually ready to show. In fact, the only thing they have finished. <laughs> oh, hey, this is just a Starfield trailer. Oh, it's Outer Worlds 2! Oh, nice. Huh. Isn't that. Did people why like they the first one? Yeah, it was really good. Oh shit, I didn't hear anything about yeah, it. Yeah, it was like Fallout, but interesting, because it was just space sci-fi instead of just Fallout. Yeah, people liked uh, it quite a bit. I've been meaning to play the first one. does make things cooler. I've been meaning to play the first one, but... Well, hey, you can Isn't play that a bit it on early? Game Aren't they working on Avowed? Yeah, and, and they're making... And they're in the middle of supporting the Grounded or whatever, too. It's strange that they're... This is Flight Sim. <clears throat> Obsidian seems to be working on a lot. Or maybe it's... I don't know, there's a plane. This is yeah, Ethan, this is Banjo Kazooie. Finally. God, what an upgrade. It's Banjo Pilot 2. The game everyone was waiting for. When are they adding Battle Royale to this game? You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? Where the world is the Battle Royale. Let's go. I was thinking more like Sly 3 biplanes. Yeah, I'm just thinking that'd be hilarious. Could you imagine? Oh, there's two people left. One of, one of us is in Melbourne and the other person's in fucking New York. Well, we'll see you in like 16 hours for the final battle. <laughs> we shall collide above Germany. Imagine if they kept trying to get each other, but they oh kept going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> this game's really pretty, though. It is. Is it coming to consoles? I assume it's coming to consoles, right? At least Series X. 
Day one game pass, am I right guys? Day one game pass? Most wait for likely. it, wait for it. Flight simulator. Wait the for it, wait for it, wait for it. Landing on Xbox Series X and S. No date, but don't... Oh, July 27th, guys, and it's available on Xbox Game Pass. And also PC. It's already on PC. It's been out for like a year on PC. Yo, fight Battle Royale, lads! Let's go! <laughs> it's not. You can just fly him. No shooting? Boo. This isn't a Microsoft game. Where's the combat? Yo, oh, it's Top Gun Maverick. Oh, okay. Yo, tell me I can play as Tom Cruise. Yo, guys, this one's Banjo. I got you. <laughs> Fuck. You think you were pushing that as a prediction? It's Kingdom Hearts 4. <laughs> Exclusive to Xbox. What a turnaround. Yeah, was it Wild Wild West? Dude? With Will Smith. With Will Smith? Oh, it's Forza, damn it! Oh, cars, here we go. Wait, no. Yeah, this is Horizon, for fuck's sake. My prediction's right. They've cocked me, dude. <laughs> They've cocked me! This is the wrong Forza! I was yeah, promised! Copyrighted music. Oh yeah. I'm gonna mute you because I'm mad. No, this is the wrong Forza game. <laughs> Think about what you did. Think about what you did. You've wasted my fucking... Sorry, I guess this one's in like Mexico or something. Mm -hmm. I'm so mad. So mad. But now, I mean, people really got, like. Got by both your car games. <laughs> no comment, dude. No comment. I'm glad you picked <laughs> up both car games, and now you get nothing. <laughs> you lose. Good, Good day, 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 sir. Good day. <laughs> I'm so upset. I am so upset. <laughs> I also like that you can tell the difference between the car games. Well, because well, motorsport, motorsport is a simulator. Is like a motorsport is like an racing. actual racing simulator where you go ah. on the actual official tracks, whereas Horizon is like an open world kind of drag racing piss about with your friends. Available November 9th, by the way. Fuck off. Fuck you, Xbox. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. So wait, <laughs> why did you have to drop the other one? Because they're two different games. Motor Horizon is different to motorsport. And, and they announced wait. Motorsport last yeah, year, so trust me, I'm as confused as everyone else. Horizon Why is Horizon <laughs> coming first? Freedom and beauty. And this year, the Horizon Festival It'd be like if they actually announced Metroid, Metroid, or if they actually had like Metroid Prime 4 coming out <laughs> this year or something. I would not get credit for picking it because I picked the unannounced 2D game. Yeah. Right. Trust me, I'm Project fucking pissed. <laughs> Xbox, can you at least confirm that the other one's not coming this year? For the love of so I can drop it, thank you. <laughs> In fact, I was going over there to drop the game right now, and the fancy critic website is down. That many people are that. Of some of the amazing that's waiting for you in Forza Horizon. So triggered. Please welcome Bill, Maddie, Sierra, and Don. You think they're gonna bring a car out on the stage? No, switch? I don't want you guys to show up. No, fuck off. Don't rub this in my face. And we also have Abraham with us as well. He's one of the talented actors who will be appearing What's in the up, game. What's up, Mike? Bienvenidos a Mexico. I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. We begin in the rainforest on an expedition. Thank you, Abraham. This is a new Thanks, He's campaign. very excited. To set out on an adventurous journey across Mexico. To be fair, though, the, if I was to play a Forza game, the Horizon games is what I probably would play. I'm on the river now. Yeah. We're getting close. Me I understand too. why cool, people like that, because that shit's cool. Very really pretty locations. Yeah, I would It's like that. GTA races. It's like that. GTA races, basically. It's like... Doing stupid stuff, doing stupid jumps. I can see some ruins up ahead. Bienvenida a Uxmal. Look out for the flamingos! I like how this is the thing that they're showing like more than four seconds of gameplay of, too. Just to rub it in. It's just not a shooter. <laughs> yeah. That's best enjoyed with others. Oh, I guess it's not going on too long. Don't want to get too adventurous. I don't have friends. Allow us to capture every last detail. 
right down to the individual needles on these Troya cactus. The scene looks real, but there are no tricks. This is in game. Maddie is I mean, I'm not, sh I'm not like. PNG Project One Forza Edition in Mexico's lush living desert. The perfect place to meet up with friends and head out for a drive. When they were like, Thanks this is next, next gen, I'm not surprised. Horizon Live servers. Everyone else we see here are real players. And it looks like Maddie has been joined by some other members of the team. It does Forza look nice, team. though. Let's leave Maddie for a moment. That'd be me. That I'd be the kind of person that would be driving on the wrong side of the road just to try and crash into people as they're trying to get to places. That'd 100% be me. This is a <laughs> oh, I see you're trying to go have fun. No, crash. Speaking of, hold up, Don. I would just park horizontally in the this middle of the road. This is a mural by Mexican artist Farid Rueda. Just one of the many beautiful, faithful pieces of Mexico you'll find all over Forza Good Horizon job. 5. Good Farid Rueda. Nice. Oh. While Don drives down to the beach, we'll jump over to the Gran Caldera Volcano. No, I'd rather go Check beach. out this geology detail, implemented with precision accuracy Yo, rock using work, photogrammetry guys? data captured on location atop an active Mexican volcano. The entire world has been recreated. <laughs> the entire the team didn't detail. make it, but look at these rocks, Sierra, guys. <laughs> the volcano Sierra and friends Their sacrifices weren't made in vain. Look at these rocks. Horizon game. And thanks to the power of the Xbox Series consoles, from up here we can see for miles in every direction. Yo, look at Big Floopsy in the background. Shouts to, out to Big Floopsy. Yo, land on him. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> Big Floopsy. Big one of the most beautiful That reminds me of the Fairly Odd Parents episode with the Floopsy and the backflipping <laughs> <The back -flipping laughs> dog. <laughs> 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 As we see here, as Don is challenged in Horizon's open world battle royale, the Eliminator. Go battle royale. While Don tries to win that race, there's the your battle of royale, are still Ethan. Out exploring this diverse open world. Let's head north to the canyon. The Horizon series is known for its uplifting beauty, and using our the unique canyon. HDR camera rig, we captured the canyon. The canyon. At 12K resolution. It doesn't have and a name. The Xbox Series consoles, these well, it's not grand enough to be that canyon. <laughs> the subpar canyon. <laughs> the canyon. Can't wait again. to jump off She's it. joined by Abraham and some other members <laughs> of the team. Our players are using... <laughs> this kind of dark out of context. Yeah. <laughs> are you okay, Ethan? <laughs> Yeah, I meant in the car. I like meant stunt jumps, not fucking. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. It was just I was thinking about that. <laughs> it's not motorsport. Ah. <laughs> Why are you showing six hours of it? racing? I don't know. They showed two seconds of Halo. Seriously, Hi, Bill. all we watched was Master. All we did was watch Master Chief bounce off of some debris. Yeah, and talk Actually, they just show a lot. Yeah. They showed a lot of that multiplayer hoopla, but that could have been just packaged up from previous games for all I know. Is this? It showed like a two-minute hype trailer for multiplayer, not this. Oh, guys, hit the Fortnite loot llamas. Okay, go up here to the left. Pour one out for Viva Pinata. Yo, guys, I found a straight line filled with piñatas, guys. Look at this. While the team grabbed those last few <laughs> Did you see the dude just cruising along like he was trying to ram him but missed? Yo, bowling? This is Event Lab. This is Wii Sports. new tool set that allows you to create your own races, game modes, and gameplay experiences. Yo, it is GTA. It is GTA right stunt jumps. Let's go, guys. Let's oh, go. man. Someone's going to make Rocket League in this game. That's cool. Forza Horizon 5 is the largest, most I'd play it. Most I'll play, play it, maybe, if I get a fridge at some point. And it will truly be an astounding showcase for the Xbox Series consoles when it comes to Xbox Game Pass this November 9th. November? So oh, I'll Halo 8 no coming, dude. Edition. Halo 8 showing up. <laughs> this has the November date. I'm just going to yikes and walk away.
Oh. Team Xbox is on a I mean, Hello, to Phil. be fair, Phil, why have you I been? Think Halo and Forza serve pretty different audiences, so they might not care. No, they don't. They serve, they serve the same audience, the Xbox audience. That's the only people like... <laughs> Holiday. Those are the now, only games. The year, you can look forward to back-to-back -back monthly releases landing day one on Game Pass. Phil, why have you been? The show's nearly over. From Xbox Game Studios. As well as highly anticipated games oh. like Back for Blood, oh. 12 Minutes, and The Ascent. And as we Phil. look ahead to next year, I'm inspired by the creativity of Bethesda and Xbox Game Studios. Phil, we showed you the highly Where are the anticipated games? RPG Starfield. <laughs> Where the games mean, you showed a CG yeah. trailer, Phil. Don't brag. And we also have some of the industry's best RPGs. That made people less excited, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, literally, Obsidian's working on two RPGs at the same time that fucking it's taken Bethesda to get a CG trailer. And Outer Worlds 2 is probably going to be better. Halo No Persona, though, guys. Looks like I was wrong on that guess. Feels bad. Tragic. Tragic. Guess that's because it's coming to Nintendo Switch, guys. We'll just have to find out. I don't know, isn't there still more time left in the show? Like 15 minutes, but I mean, Phil's already doing a spiel. I don't think they're going to end with yeah, he's, so he's, 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 yeah. ground up for next gen. They have like While maybe two more things. Is hard at work oh. On the next Forza Motorsport. Where is it? Our growing family of Damn it! Where is it? It's <laughs> devoted to advancing the medium we all love. Or Ethan. Xbox has been here for 20 years. Honestly, Jim and Phil have screwed me this year. Genuinely. Our team <laughs> strives to make Xbox a place where you'll find the greatest games, the most dedicated developers, and the most passionate community. Phil. Together, we all make Xbox the best place to play. I make Xbox Before the best go, place to play, guys. There's one more thing. One more take thing that's going to take 10 minutes. This brand new original game from the arcane team at Bethesda, oh. the studio that created Prey and Dishonored. Arcane created something new for them, an open world immersive shooter that you can play alone or with your friends. <laughs> and like Starfield, this game will be an Xbox exclusive. Feels like we don't have enough shooters in our portfolio, an Arcane. Make another one. An open world shooter? Oh, there's magic at least. They're hiding, what? So, okay, no. Uh, I thought they were hiding his face for a second. I was like, is this something we don't know? Am I supposed to, is this new or is, am I supposed to know these people? <laughs> For the course for vampires. <laughs> it really is. Red Hall, Massachusetts. Behind me. We are I asked someone's cool. vlogging, of course. Of cult activity as the locals engage. Hey! Oh no, they caught you vlogging, dude. That's a crime. I really hope the video was worth it. I'm sure. 
I sure am glad that this one's gonna be the exclusive and deadly. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't, it just, it, it looks like, like for blood. all of the other games yeah, like this. Like... It just, it just looks there. Like, I don't know it's what to say. It's another shooter. It's another shooter. Another co-op one, like. Arcane seems to be good at making unique first-person, like, solo things. That's the thing, though, is the, this doesn't this is look... just trailer. It doesn't look arcane to me. Like, they had the girl with the magic hand at the beginning there, and I was like, oh, okay, it looks kind of like their magic elsewhere, but it's not... It doesn't look all that special. Yo, she has a Mary Poppins magic umbrella, dude, pause. Robots got some kicks. They said it's open world, didn't they? Yeah. I think there's a vampire in this. Really? What does it taste like? Be specific. Like blood and death. Remember when you said that you couldn't possibly take so ten minutes for one more thing? This trailer's going on for an eternity. It's only been four minutes. <laughs> it feels like forever. They said ninety-minute show, and it's eight, it's currently we're currently at eighty-two minutes. I am going to be. Thank you, puppy. Very cool. <laughs> oh, that was yours. I thought I legit thought it was the trailer. I zoned out for a second. Well, there you go. Redfall. Oh, exciting. Summer 2022. I don't know. I just looked super generic to me. I don't know. It did look pretty meh. Especially for they're Arcane. Doing... Especially for Arcane, they're... man. Like, Arcane. They're doing vampires instead of zombies, so I guess points for them. Arcane usually yeah. just... Is that it? Are we just going to get a fucking... Are we yeah, just going to get... Yeah, it's sizzle reel time. Are we just going to get a copyrighted sizzle reel? Poggers. Oh, man. <laughs> So that was that, but no, like, I don't know, Arcane to me is just like, oh yeah, the people, you know, that are making Deathloop and have made Dishonored and made Prey are making that? That doesn't seem to fit in with them at all, really. Like, it just seemed a bit generic. No, it seemed, you could have made anyone else do that. Yeah. Oh boy, Hades is trending. Good for you, <laughs> Supergiant. Way to go. That happened forever ago, and it's still there. Good job. Actually... Surprised they didn't talk about Perfect Dark. I thought that's what their one more thing mm -hmm. was gonna be. So did I. I mean, you know, Jeff, that I mean, shooter that people care about, <laughs> but... Jeff Grubb did sure, that, we yeah, could make ten more. It was an interesting one. So overall, what did you think? Because, like, uh, my opinion is, it, I don't think it was that bad. As an Xbox show, no, I've been to Xbox shows before, yeah. and I've been bored shitless, and I've wanted them to end. That one felt like the pace was actually all right, where I wasn't... Yeah, the pace seemed good. Uh, it was better than the one they had a couple years ago, or like 2019. I liked it more than that one. Yeah, same. They at least had games to show this time, which is yeah. which is very good. They showed some it may games. not be for us, but it was something. It's there for somebody. Were, there were so. a couple that piqued my interest, which I think is more than I can say for a lot of these other shows that have been happening over the weekend. Like Plague Tale yeah. 2, that's cool. The uh, Atomic Heart one looked interesting. Like They showed a lot of shooters, and I'm still remembering the weird, weird one with the robots. And the club music. Uh, and then there was that 2D game. Yeah, I can't remember the, the name. The two 2D games, the two 2D HD game things coming in. No, I'm not talking about. Oh, that, oh, I'm not talking about, about oh, that one. Oh, you want about the cyberpunk looking the, one? The cyberpunk looking one. Uh, yeah, he was like climbing up a hotel yeah. sign. Yeah, that and one. He, yeah, right yeah, after yeah. he like broke a dude's arm, that was mm. cool. I don't remember its name. 
neither do I. I don't know. There was lots. There were lots of interesting things to show. It's just to me, Xbox still can't get away from its image of only having first-person shooters because they, had, yeah. they did show seventy like percent of that show of was first-person shooters. That new Arcane game, from the looks of it, will be a first-person shooter, and it's like Starfield. Very much a munch on Doritos and. Eat. In well, not even do that. The boys it's just, kind of games. It's, no, it's not even that. It's, it's perfectly fine to have first-person shooters on your console and have a cool-looking, like, story-driven first-person shooter. They exist, but it's just like... Yeah. That's the Xbox brand at this point. It's just having and too many. it has many. been forever. Yeah. It's just having too many first-person shooters that's the problem for me. And not... And it's not... There's no substance there. To me, there's no substance where it's like, yeah. Yeah. Even if that arcane game ends up being fantastic which it's arcane i'm sure that i've just had a terrible first impression to it and i'm sure it'll be great probably because arcane doesn't really do doesn't mess really so i'm sure it's going to be great but you know it's like outer worlds 2 avowed and all this stuff is like they're all great but you've also got elder scrolls 6 starfield you've got all these com all these game studios hitting the same bases where it's like oh starfield will come out and then after Starfield's come out, then you'll get Outer Worlds 2, which will feel very similar. Uh, and then you'll also have Avowed and Elder Scrolls 6 come out in similar time. It just... I mean, to be fair, Obsidian was probably doing those before they acquired Bethesda, mm. so it's kind of like, oh, we're not just going to pull the plug on that, but especially no. since people like Outer Worlds. As a Outer show, Worlds. though, I think it was... I think like it was I said really, earlier, yeah. will probably be better than Starfield. Probably. Like I say, I think it was a great show on the whole, like as quality wise, especially for Xbox. It was a great show. It was just. If Xbox does one thing, is please fucking. If you're going to acquire more people, acquire people that don't make first person shooters. Because <laughs> I feel. Or first person games in general, because I feel like you have too many people that specialize exactly. in first person action games. Because that's all. Like, if we look at the list of all Xbox Game Studios games right now roughly about 70% of them are first-person action games. And the rest of them are cool stuff like Psychonauts and the stuff that Double Fine does and there's some other cool stuff, but man, I wish there was more. Anyway, that has been our reaction, I guess, to the Xbox show. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll be back <laughs> for Square I'm Enix swear. later. We got like <laughs> half an hour break. <laughs> And then we're back with Square Enix disappointment. So yeah, shooting us for that. Square Enix to show us all of their Western stuff and then all the fun stuff, except for Life is Strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be back soon. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you. Soon. See ya. Toodaloo.